I got type 2 diabetes. I wasn't born with it. I got it when I got in my about 32, 33. My mother got it in her 30s. Yeah, it's hereditary. Then once that attacked her body, she got lupus, hypertension, kidney failure. She had open heart surgery. She lost both her legs, her sight. Started attacking her good limbs, her good organs, like it's doing me now. So it's attacking, it's attacking my good limbs, like my arms and my hands. It's hard to put on my clothes. It's hard to cook now. But I'm living with it. Because if you let the disease dictate to you on how to feel, then you'll just lay in the bed or go jump off the bridge. And I ain't that type of person. I ain't finna jump off the bridge and I ain't finna lay in the bed, so I'm gonna keep moving. You can live with type 2 diabetes, even type 1 diabetes. You can live with it. But you just have to take care of you. You have limitations. And that's just a fact. around about 2007. Just felt pain um, in both my sides, in both my sides, and it, it felt very uncomfortable. And I, I didn't really know what it was. I figured maybe I'd go and lay down and it'll pass. So I went to sleep as I got up that morning and I was about to go get something for breakfast. But then I started feeling that pain came back and it wasn't letting up and I felt clammy and the pain wouldn't go away. And I didn't think that I could drive and make it to the hospital so I called an ambulance when they came and got me. And that, that was, that's what was going on with the heart attack. Working two jobs, I think it was just a lot of stress too much stress. Plus I smoke. My mom and my brother, they passed. I know the heart disease run in the family. I changed my eating habit and I walk more. Just for our stress factors, I try not to make a big hassle of things. It just Take it easy. I learned to pray. Pray on a problem. Leave it there. Through God's grace and mercy, we can live with these diseases. And that's what I do. I live with it.